Today I'm starting a brand new Let's Play on the channel. This has been requested for literally years. People have been asking me to make a Veronaville Let's Play and I am finally going to do it. I hope you guys are gonna enjoy this. We're gonna start with the Cap family today. Each episode will be a different family just like my previous Sims 2 Let's Plays. I'm excited to play in Veronaville because it is my least played of the base game neighborhoods. I don't know the Sims as well. I am using a clean template which means that there are no townies. So we'll just be playing with the Ben families and the three playable families that you start with. I have not played through the scripted events in this new fresh install, so we will be doing that one by one. I'm not gonna go through and do them all and then start over. I'm just gonna start playing one household and go to the next. We're gonna see what happens because honestly, the scripted events in Veronaville are a little broken and aren't that great. So I don't feel that bad. <laughs> about if we if we miss some things I don't feel that bad about it so without further ado let's get started two houses alike in dignity the Caps and Montes have been feuding for years but that hasn't stopped the younger generation from crossing boundaries and falling in love will their actions lead to ruin or bring the two families together welcome to Veronaville we're going to be starting here with the Cap family let's read through all of the household bios Patrizio Monti never forgot consort Cap's broken promise but now his grandson Romeo has fallen for the Cap heiress Will the elders live to see the two families united? Juliet Cap has fallen for Romeo, golden child of the rival Monty clan. Can the Caps set aside their grudge and put Juliet's happiness first? Hmm, probably not. The Summer Dream's kindly nature and zest for life have cast a romantic spell over Veronaville's youth, but will there be any magic left for Puck? Veronaville is filled with teenage drama and I am living for it. So let's get started with the Cap family. Here we are in the Cap family home and I have to say, I think Veronaville is the most beautiful of all the three base game neighborhoods, especially when you put a skyline in a sky. Just look how gorgeous that is. It's so forested too. I need to take out these low poly trees and replace them with my linden trees. But other than that, it's gorgeous. So this is the cat family home. I am going to do the suggested events. Um, but if you watched the video that I published yesterday, maybe two days ago by the time this video comes out about how I set up my neighborhoods, I set up this household in that video so we don't have to go through all that. <laughs> We're all ready to go, actually. We'll just do a quick recap of the family members and then get started with gameplay right away. So this is Consort. He wants to retire. He's a Scorpio. He's a fortune sim. His hobby is fitness. And his bio says, Consort Cap was once associates with Patrizio Monti. What led to the end of their relationship and can it now be salvaged? I don't know. I'm not feeling good about that. Consort is the father of the late Cordelia Cap, Goneril Cap, Reagan Cap, and Kent Cap. His grandchildren include Juliet, Tybalt, Hermia, Miranda, Hal, Desdemona, and Ariel. So this is a big family. Consort is currently responsible for Juliet, Tybalt, and Hermia, who all three live with him. The beautiful Juliet here wants to go study with Romeo, who is on the lot right now, so we're gonna make that happen. She goes to private school, she has an A, she is a Cancer, she is a family sim, and her bio says Juliet loves her family and wants to please them, but her feelings for Romeo are undeniable. Can she make her family proud and make herself happy as well? Juliet's hobby is gaming and sh her sub hobby is darts. Here is Tybalt looking quite unhappy for some reason. I did remove the face paint that he had on and I have given all these Sims makeovers as I'm sure you can tell. Tybalt has a C minus, but he has a maxed out body skill. This kid is fit and he got fit because he wants to fight Mercutio. He is a Gemini, he's a popularity Sim and his bio says outspoken but surly, Tybalt is proud to carry the cap name. Will his pride and hatred of the Montes ruin his sister Juliet's chance for happiness with Romeo? Let's hope not. And then we have my favorite sim in Veronaville, Hermia. Hermia is a Virgo. She is also a family sim. She's very fit. This family is very fit. Her hobby is literature and her sub hobby is blogging. Oh, and I forgot to say Tybalt's hobby is music and his sub hobby is playing the bass. Hermia's bio says Hermia is smart, but on the shy side. She often wonders what rock her brother Tybalt crawled out from under. <laughs> So Tybalt doesn't really get along with his sisters very well. Hermia also has a C in school, so neither of these two do as well as their sister Juliet in school. Now we're outside with Romeo and Juliet. Romeo has not been given a makeover yet. I have only done the cat family, so disregard what he looks like, okay? We're gonna have them have their very first kiss. Juliet, Romeo and Juliet already have a crush on each other. 
and of course they want to go steady so as soon as they have this first kiss she's going to ask him to go steady now her family is not going to be happy about this at all and neither is his family because obviously they're enemies so this is going to cause a lot of issues in the neighborhood but i really hope that they can be together and be happy however romeo is a romance sim so not sure how that's going to work out and now they are in love she's going to ask him to go steady and get this power want fulfilled Aw, and he said yes. Oh, how how romantic. They're going steady in the rain. <laughs> and she wants to sneak out with him, so I'm actually going to lock that in, and we'll see if we can make that happen later tonight. But he needs to leave right now before her grandpa gets super pissed. Bye, Romeo. See you another time when grandpa's asleep. <laughs> Really quick, let's talk about ages. So Consort is 57 years old, Tybalt and Juliet are 16, and Hermia is 15. So they're only gonna be in this household for a couple of days before they head off to college. I will be playing the Academy Latour families in college and bringing them back to Veronaville so that we have some fresh blood because right now everybody's related and we're probably only gonna be able to get through like one generation. Even though they're only gonna be here for a couple days, I did set up their rooms. This is Hermia's Room because it had a computer and she's going to be a blogger so I gave her a bookshelf and a beanbag chair so she could work on her literature hobby. Across the way over here is Juliet's room. I gave her a dartboard so she could start working on her gaming hobby and then I gave Tibble the biggest room so he can work on his bass playing and I needed a lot of room to put the bass in so this is going to be his room and that's pretty much all I've done to the house besides give them light switches and an air conditioner. This house needs a lot more work, but I haven't had a lot of time to work on it. Maybe we can do that in a live stream. Now we're going to fulfill Consort's want of retiring from his job. He's currently a CEO in the business career, and he's ready to call it quits and enjoy his golden years. Consort retired, he will be receiving a pension of 232 smillions daily. Looking good, Tibble. Looking good. <laughs> I love it when they check themselves out in the mirror. Tybalt is the only one of the teens that doesn't have a romantic interest, so we may have to wait until college before he finds a partner. Aw, they're having a nice family dinner together. This is so sweet. Maybe the girls can improve their relationship with Tybalt before they all go to college. Or age up to adults. Some of them may not want to go to college. I hope they all do, though. Juliet wants to sneak out with Romeo. It's 10 p.m., 10.30 p.m., so she's going to call and ask him if he wants to sneak out with her tonight they really have to sneak around with their relationship right now because anytime they go to each other's lots their family their family ends up getting in a fight sneak out with Romeo Monty yes and it is storming outside cool I'll come pick you up at 1 a.m. oh how exciting it's a little after 1 a.m. and Juliet is heading out to the street to meet Romeo all of the rest of the family is asleep and it looks like he's here. I did, she's sneaking, she's tiptoeing like it matters now you're at the end of the driveway. I did put some lights in along this driveway because it was so dark out here. Okay, there they go, sneaking out together. Oh, it's so romantic. Young love. It's 4 a.m. and Juliet is sneaking back home. She did not get busted by the cops. So that's good. I love how she's sneaking. Like, I don't think anybody's going to hear you down here. You could probably run up these stairs and you'd be fine. So it was about 4.45 by the time Juliet made it back to the house. She's going to be exhausted. She's going to have to sleep all day today. Luckily, it's Sunday, so she doesn't have to go to school. So it's about 11 a.m. on Sunday now, and Consort rolled the want to buy new clothes. So he and the grandkids are going to go to town, go to the clothing store, and I don't know. We'll see what happens. Hopefully nobody gets in a fight. I have to say, I am in love with how beautiful Veronaville is, and I can't wait to get in here and build some community lots to match this style. I'll probably start with career services and then go from there, because I know I'm going to have to remake some of these community lots. So they are strange. Strange. <laughs> The family's arriving here at Stratford Strip, which is exactly the same lot as the game store and grocery store in Pleasant View. It's just been remodeled slightly, but it's definitely the same lot. Um, they came here because Consort wants to buy new clothes. He's feeling like being a little more casual now that he's retired. And the kids decided to tag along because they weren't doing anything else today. And hey, Romeo's here. Oh boy, what just happened? I hear the sounds of love. 
Who's fallen in love out here? Oh, Romeo just fell in love with Juliet. Oh, he wasn't in love yet. Consort picked out a more casual outfit, a sweater and slacks and some tennis shoes. He's gonna be more comfortable in this now that he doesn't have to go in and be a CEO every day. Oh wait, was that somebody else? Oh, that was Oberon and Titania. <laughs> Um, I thought they already had a crush on each other, but apparently not. <laughs> oh no, Mercutio's here. Oh boy. Well, Tybalt does want to get in a fight with Mercutio. That's supposed to happen as part of the scripted event uh, when we get to the Monty household, but who knows? Uh-oh. So Hermia here is giving a back rub to Mercutio. Oh my gosh, and there's Puck. Uh-oh, okay. <laughs> I think there's going to be some drama here. So Hermia is actually romantically involved with both Puck and Mercutio. So somebody's going to get jealous. She only has one bolt with both of them. She hasn't yet decided who she wants to date seriously. She does want to have her very first kiss with Puck, though. Uh, but apparently she also wants to give Mercutio a back rub. I really hope things don't go south here for her and Puck. Oh, okay. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Mercutio doesn't seem to mind. Oh, and she just fell in love with Puck. She just fell in love with Puck. So you know what? Let's just, let's just do that first kiss right now. Mercutio can get over it. She's made her decision. Oh no, get out of the way. Okay, there we go. Now, obviously I have not made over the other households. So some of them still have their face paint on. <laughs> I'm going to be removing that when we get there. Oh, they're just having their first kiss right here at the clothing store in front of everybody. <laughs> in front of Puck's mom. That's weird. She's just standing there ogling them. Now she wants to go steady with Puck. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes. Let's ask him to go steady. Propose go steady. Wow. Tibble and Juliet are not getting along back here. Oh, and he said yes. So they're now going steady. Oh, wow. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff going on here. People are not getting along with each other. So I think it's time. Oh, what's going on in here? Isabella, Monty, and Consort are arguing. Okay, I think it's time for the family to go home. We've had enough drama for today. There's plenty more where that came from. Ooh, Consort wants to go on a date. Oh my gosh, who could he go on a date with? So it's 6 p.m. and another day has passed in the household. That means that, that consort is now 58 years old. Uh, Tybalt and Juliet have just turned 17 and Hermia is 16. So tomorrow we'll find out if Juliet and Tybalt will be going to college or just aging up to adults. I play Veronaville as a matrilineal matriarchy, which means that the males take the females' last names in marriage and the females are the heirs. This is like the opposite of the way I play Pleasant View in Strange Town. So Juliet is going to be the heir to the Cap house. She will be inheriting this home, but she will be going away to college and she has been like a mother figure um, here in this household. She does most of the cooking and cleaning. Hermia does help out as well. But if she's going to be leaving for college, oh my gosh, there's a there's ghosts are coming out. If she's going to be leaving for college, things are going to get difficult around here. So we're going to have consort go and hire a maid to help out. Hermia will step in and and help more with the cooking and cleaning once Juliet's gone for the year that she's here behind her. And then after that, Consort will be all on his own. So he definitely needs some help um, as far as a maid and probably a gardener as well. Now, I'm not being sexist when I'm leaving Tybalt out of the cooking and cleaning. The reason why I'm saying this is because Hermia and Juliet are family sims, so they typically want to do the cooking and cleaning more. Tybalt usually doesn't have the desire to do that since he's a popularity sim so it's not because they're female and he's male so don't get offended <laughs> Tybalt and Juliet's relationship is still not great but they are having dinner together which is a step in the right direction right now they have a relationship of a one daily 17 light lifetime from Juliet's point of view she's still negative five daily towards her brother so it's 6 a.m on Monday morning today is Juliet and T Tybalt's birthdays and I'm excited to see if they roll the want to go to college. And guess what? Juliet did. So she is definitely going to be going to college. Now let's 
Check Tybalt. Yes, Tybalt also rolled the want to go to college. I'm actually gonna lock that in instead of win a fight with Mercutio because I think going to college is more important for him right now. Now I didn't do the scripted event where Juliet goes over to Romeo's house and then Tybalt gets in a fight with Mercutio because I just honestly don't care that much and I didn't want to spend another episode going through those scripted events again. So that's okay. Maybe he's getting over this as he gets older. He's getting over his hatred. And if not getting over his hatred, at least getting over his want to fight. He wants to gussy up. Wow, that's kind of a rare want for a sim to roll. Let's have him go do it. He's been practicing his base and he's actually getting quite good at it. He's already up to level three creativity skill. We'll have him gussy up and get ready for school because today is Juliet and Tybalt's last day of high school. This is their graduation day and Tybalt wants to look nice for it. Yay, Consort wants to buy a car, so let's get a car for the family. They'll be the first family in Veronaville to own a car, and they are quite wealthy, so it only makes sense. But where on earth am I gonna put a driveway? This lot is not built for a driveway. It's not flat. I think I'll have to flatten out an area over here to put a driveway, and we may eventually build them a garage up closer to the house. Right now, I'm just gonna put a driveway right here. I am buying the family a Lori Sims 2015 Audi Q7 and it costs 12,000 simoleons. And I made a driveway here at the ends of the street. Now, this is not cute, okay? I know it's not, all right? <laughs> I know it's not cute. I want to build a, a garage, maybe a freestanding garage up here, but I don't wanna do it right now. So this is gonna have to work. I did make a little path going to the side it kind of messes up the flow of the fence, but what are you going to do? This lot was created before cars, so it wasn't really built with having a driveway in mind. Well, that made it a little bit better. I put a fence all the way around the driveway and put some lights on. That actually makes it look a little better, I think. And that'll have to do for now because we're down to 59,000 simoleons. Word spreads fast in this family. Juliet's relatives heard about her report card and they're pleased as punch. They gave Juliet a 100 simoleon reward. So she's going to have an extra 100 simoleons to take to school with her. It's 1.15 p.m. The kids are all home from school. Juliet is applying for scholarships um, for college and we're going to see if she gets anything. I think she should get the orphan award. Yes. She will receive a grant of 1,000 simoleons towards her next semester in college. She qualifies for the Sim City Scholars Grant. Oh, because her grades were so high and she gets the Orphan Sims Assistant Fund. So she's going to start out with 2,500 simoleons plus the 100 that she got from her relatives. That's great, Juliet. Now it's Tybalt's turn. Let's see if he qualifies for anything. I know he'll get the Orphan Sims Grant, but I don't think he'll qualify for anything else. Oh no, he gets the Hogan Award in Athletics. I forgot about that because he has maxed out body skill. So he's going to get 750 plus 1500 for the Orphan Sims Assistance Fund. Wow, these kids are starting out with a lot more money than my Sims usually do in college. Hermia asked Consort for homework help and it is the cutest thing ever. He is like so concerned with her having a bad grade. He didn't seem to care that much about Tybalt's bad grades, but what are you going to do? So Juliet is the first one moving to college. She is calling right now. We're going to select move to college. Yes, we want to do this. Goodbye, Juliet. So Juliet is heading off to Academy Latour. I saw the taxi out the window coming to get her. The family's all coming down to say goodbye. She is the first of the three grandchildren to go to college and Tybalt will be following close behind. She's moving on to bigger and better things. I cannot wait to get to college and play these Sims in university. It's gonna be so much fun. And we'll also be playing some of the university households as well. Bye, Julia. Now Tybalt is calling for his ride to college. I don't know why they couldn't just share the same cab, but they wanna go separately. They wanna do this on their own. <laughs> I see the taxi outside pulling up to take him away. Bye, Tybalt. We'll see you and Juliet at the end of our rounds when we get ready to play university. Have a safe trip. Oh, yeah. Check me out. I am looking good. <laughs> now it's just Hermia and Consort left in the house. Things are going to be much quieter without Juliet and Tybalt around. So I meant to give... Juliet her dartboard and Tybalt his base to take with them to college and I completely forgot So what I'm gonna do as a solution is I'm gonna put these into consorts 
inventory and then I'll have him go and visit them at college and he can give them their stuff. I also want to turn Tybalt's old room into an office for consort. Since he wants to earn money in his old age, I thought he could give financial consulting as sort of like a little side hustle. So I'm going to make him an office so he has a place to do that. Here is consort's new office. I also thought it might be nice to give him a treadmill since his hobby is fitness and specifically cardio. So now he doesn't just have to jump rope in his pajamas in the front yard anymore. <laughs> he can actually come up to his office and work out. I want to have him invest some of his money since he is a fortune sim, I usually like to do that, especially when they're wealthy. So I'm going to have him deposit 20,000 simoleons in the bank so he can start earning some interest on that. And what a lovely view he has when he's doing his financial consulting. Look at the beautiful view he has out the window. He's given financial advice over instant messenger. <laughs> All right, so it's 6 p.m. and another day has passed. That means Consor here is 59 years old. Of course, Tybalt and Juliet have turned 18 and Hermia is 17. So tomorrow we'll find out if Hermia is going to college too. This is so creepy with all the ghosts just floating around on this big, huge lot. It's, I don't know, it's really creepy out here at night. At least they haven't come inside and bothered anybody. They just float around menacingly in the yard. Hermia woke up this morning with a bad case of acne. I'm gonna have her put some acne cream on after she brushes her face. She's getting ready for school this morning. This is her last day of school as a high school senior. She's gonna be graduating today. She has not yet rolled the want to go to college. I'm actually gonna unlock Talk to Puck so we have more chance of her rolling that want when she gets home from school. Cross your fingers. Consort was doing his morning workout when Titania Severdream called and he started talking to her. They became best friends. She's been a really good friend to this family. In fact, I believe she's friends with most of the grandchildren as well. She loves to talk on the phone. She is always calling over here to talk on the phone. Oh, and she's talking to Consort about adoption and he's like, no, no, I don't want any more kids. I'm worried about making money now. <laughs> Titania adopted both of her children and she'll most likely want to adopt another one once we get over there to play her. And I guess she was trying to talk Consort into doing the same and he was like, no, thank you. My grandkids are moving out and I can focus on me. <laughs> so Hermia just got home from school. Let's check on her. Oh my God, no want to go to college. I'm getting nervous. We have six hours to get her to roll the want. So I'm gonna try to start fulfilling the wants that she has in the hopes that she'll roll college. Hermia just finished doing her homework. Oh my God, still no want for college. I think Hermia may not be going. There's no way we can complete any of these. Learn couples counseling, learn fire prevention, learn anger management, obtain a pet. Oh, I think she's going to be aging up to an adult and staying here with consort. Maybe she doesn't want to leave her grandpa alone. The only one of these wants I could possibly fulfill is obtain a pet. We don't have a pet store, so she's going to have to order one online. And yeah, I know you can do pet adoption, but I don't have any strays in this neighborhood. And I don't like using the in-game pet adoption. I like to have an actual physical place that they go to buy pets. So I'm just going to pretend that she is calling to Sim City and ordering a pet to be delivered to her. Come on, Hermia, hurry up and get this pet and roll a once to go to college, please. It always disappoints me when my Sims don't want to go to college, but I let them do what they want. And in my gameplay rules, they have to roll the want to go to college on the day that they turn 18. And if they don't, then I consider that their wish to not go to college. So whenever I went through purchase pet, this is the pet that shows up. I don't know what breed this is. Let me see if I can find out. This looks like an Irish wolfhound and she is female. So we're going to name her Kira. This is Kira the Irish Wolfhound that Hermia is going to adopt from a shelter in SimCity. They will be the first family to obtain a pet, and here she is, just instant delivery. Here is Kira. And she did not roll the want to go to college. Oh my god, we're running out of time. Okay, be friends with Kira? There's no way. Oh, I don't know. She's really close. Let's see. I'm going to do as many interactions as I can and hope that they become friends so she'll re-roll a want. Aw, good girl, Kira. We need to buy the doggy stuff, too. I really didn't want to get any of my Sims pets until we had a pet store, but this was a special circumstance. This was an emergency. Emergency pet buying. <laughs> 
Okay, it's 5.30. It's 5.30. Yes! Yes! Oh my god, she just became friends with Kira. It is 5 at 32 p.m. And she rolled the one to go to college. Oh my god, we have 28 minutes to get her to school. And she has to apply for scholarships too. Oh my god. She decided at the very last minute that she wanted to go to college. And I mean very last minute. I'm thinking that she didn't want to leave Grandpa Consort alone. But once she got Kira, she felt a little bit better because now he's going to have a companion to stay here with him. Oh my god, come on. Okay, she got the orphan assistance fund and let's move to college right now. Oh, I hate it when my sims wait until the very last minute like this. It kills me. Come on, you've got 15 minutes. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, come on. Hurry, hurry, hurry. I'm going to save right here in case something goes badly. I can reload and then stop time or set time back because she's going. Okay, come on. You've got literally like two minutes. The taxi just pulled up in the driveway. Oh my God. I hope she doesn't age up before she gets to the taxi. Okay, it's not. It's letting her go. Oh, my heart. My heart is pounding. <laughs> This was so stressful, but thankfully Hermia decided at the very last minute that she was going to go and join her brother and sister. And hopefully the other teens um, in Veronaville will be going as well. And there's Puck. She barely got to spend any time with Puck after they started going steady. They talked on the phone a little bit. They had their first kiss, but they're going to meet up again in college, I hope, if Puck wants to go. Bye, Hermia. Oh, no, the dog is just the dog just destroyed the bed in Hermia's room. Holy crap. OK, we have to take care of this dog. I'm going to buy all of the dog supplies. It's good because Consort wants to buy a chew toy and a pet bed. So let's do that and let's get these two acquainted because now it's just Consort and Kira left here. This dog's going to get the best of everything. There is a perfect place for a pet bed in their living room right here. And I'm actually, I'm going to recolor that to the fancy red. Now Consort's going in to say hello to his new dog and lifetime companion, Kira. Aw, it's so sweet. Now don't tear up any more furniture, dog. So I realized I was so fo focused on Hermia that we didn't even look at Kira's personality. Kira is a friendly, lazy doofus and a pig pen. <laughs> well, at least she's friendly and she's not aggressive, so that's nice. She does not like going outside at all, but she is very interested in food. <laughs> well, we've got a lot of work to do with Kira, teaching her not to eat the furniture and to pee outside, which is going to be hard because she doesn't like going outside. All right, give love. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I had to scold you. Good girl. <laughs> I'm happy that Consort has somebody here to interact with so he doesn't get so lonely now that all the kids are gone. So even though that was very nerve wracking, it did work out for the best in the end. So it's 6 p.m. This is our final day of playing the Cat Family. Consort here is 61 years old. All the kids are currently 18 and moved away to college. It'll be turning to winter first thing in the morning and we'll be switching to our next household. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this new Let's Play. Leave a comment, let me know what you think, and I will see you soon with a new video.